Here comes Peter Cottontail, hopping down the bunny trail. So the new hutches have just been set up and the bunnies have just moved in this week. We have six of these new hutches. Construction took about six months to do the hutches, the gardens around the hutches, and just to make the whole area look really nice. So they all have little outdoor yards, a nice safe indoor area where they have a nice little hidey hole and straw to relax in overnight. They have little areas where the rabbits can go out to munch on a little herb garden and there's great areas for people to do meet and greets, so if they want to interact with a bunny and spend some time with it before adopting, they can do that. I look after a wide variety of animals, uh, such as the dogs, cats, as you can see, the pocket pets, so the rabbits and the guinea pigs. It's amazing. They're nice little fluffy creatures. Um, some can be nice and placid, as you can see. Some a little bit more active, but that's okay. They're all beautiful creatures to own. They don't take up too much room. They don't require uh, too much effort, as long as you've got someone that will love them, feed them and take care of them. Of course, some small cuddles in there as well. But yeah, that's why they would make great pets. Bunnies from the RSPCA are obviously in need of a good home. A lot of them have come from good homes in the first place and they just need to be given another chance at life. They come dissexed and vaccinated and fully vet checked before they go out as well. I'm attached to all of them at the moment. Um, they're all my favourites. Uh, it's really hard to choose a particular one. Uh, but yeah, I do uh, like them all.